any excuse to play that song. Now for something that sounds like a whole heap of fun, we are joined by actors Louise Wallace and Paul Glover to tell us all about their production in Kings of the Gym. Welcome to you both. Yes, round Thank of applause. Thank you, nice to be here. Yeah. Love these two. Uh, <laughs> nice to be here. Nice Thanks to have us. you here. Uh, let's start with you, Louise, first. Um, you are a very well-known face, New Zealand, uh, in a good way, in a, positive, you've got like that around, in a very positive way. But tell us about your acting. Uh, I like acting. Yes. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the background. Okay, well, I went to drama school in London when I was 20. And uh, I think the thing is that a lot of people don't realise that because I had a lot of, of news and current affairs. Mm. And mainly because there was no money in acting. <laughs> and I got sick of, of the phone not ringing and auditions that didn't come off. And by the time I reached my mid-20s, I thought, no, stuff it. I'm, I want to do something that uses those skills. Um, but they can earn a bit of dosh. And so that's why I went into TV presenting and journalism. And then, you know, I did a full circle. Mm. And once uh, my career, it's sort of, you know, I was doing reality TV and I thought, I want to go back to acting. And that's what I did. Oh, and we love you for it too, because we get to see a whole other side of you, Louise, Thank which you. we absolutely love. Thank and you. And with your production company, you know, Tadpole Theatre Productions, yeah. we get to see a whole new side of a whole lot of other people as well. Paul, your television and stage career has been varied. I've watched you on the screens for years. I don't want to mean to sound that. old. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it seems like you've been doing this for a, for a long time. Where did it start? Uh, actually, um it's, it's I, I just I grew up in um, in the city here uh, well before there was uh, before there was weekend trading and uh, my father was and mum were fruiterers in Bledisloe Lane here beside the Ministry of Transport building <laughs> and um, and I used to uh, I don't know how I think my dad was slipping the ushers a few free pineapples I don't know <laughs> but uh, I used to go and watch lots of movies right. and I think that's when my love of acting grew I didn't really know what it was um, but I did write. Uh, and perform in my own play when I was at primary school. And, uh, cool. A legend in your own life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Then, uh, <laughs> then nothing happened until I went to Forum North up in Whangarei. Right. Uh, about 1996, I think it was. Um, I might be wrong about the date because I'm terrible at math. I don't know how old I was at that time <laughs> in my life. Um, but yeah, I just uh, I, I, I knew that that's what I wanted to be. That's it's, what you wanted to do. Yeah. Uh, what would be your favourite role so far that you played? Ooh, the one I'm doing at the moment. Oh, no. that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> and he's really good at it too. He's uh, very, very funny. It's a, it's a been, really funny play. Well, let's, let's talk. Talk about it a bit more. Kings of of the gym. Yep. What is it about? Uh, well, Paul plays Laurie, and he is the king of the gym. He's the phys ed teacher at a low decile school. Um, you won't tell by looking at him, but he's supposed to be really overweight, and lazy, and yeah, and and but goofy, just like that. Um, <laughs> and I've been trying to get rid of him as headmistress for right. you know a couple of years that I've been headmistress of the school. He drives me insane. We drive each other insane. Uh, it's obviously a comedy. Yes, yes, it's a comedy. Dave Armstrong is the yeah. playwright. He's very funny. Brilliant. He's won several ch uh, Chapman trips. Uh, yeah. Lucilla, he worked on. Uh, he wrote, uh, co wrote skits, skits and. And um, just he's yeah the tutor he's, he's television and um, theatre uh, accredited he's, he's really and, and this is a great play. The thing to know about this play is that it's very politically incorrect. Oh, it's good. a bit naughty. There's quite a bit of bad language. There's no cotton wool in this one. No, no, there isn't. <laughs> and it's it's just um, it's sort of a bit of a breath of fresh air really because I think these days we tiptoe and namby pamby around mm. a bit. This one it doesn't. It's full on. Great. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Um, tell us a bit more about your character. Did you have to do any, you know, research for it? Could you find some overweight PE teachers in New Zealand? I, it's so funny because I, I don't know how, but I, I tend to have. It's like a natural osmosis with this with this character. I desperately want to go to the gym. Right. I desperately want to work out. Uh, I just don't have the time. Mm -hmm. So I uh, I think it's sort of this this thing that I'm tapping into a bit of myself right. as the gym yeah. teacher. Okay, Are good. we all a little bit like that? Yeah. I think sure. to He's 20, 20 odd years in the game and hasn't really lifted a dumbbell in his life and probably shot a few basket hoops and things like that and had well too many pies. So. Um, a, a, a PE teacher that means well, and no offence to any PE teachers out there. Sorry, you've already, right. already caused yeah. all that offence, um, <laughs> so that can't be taken back. What yeah, about thanks. you, Louise, your character? <laughs> um, you're described as um, being a multi-culture-obsessed headmistress. I am. I'm pretty gripped, and I'm 
I'm always trying to speak Māori and, and speak it correctly and the, the rest of the school, you know, don't really give a damn about multiculturalism, but I'm trying to drag up this low decile school and mm. I'm trying to get rid of him. That's my first, you know, um, big thing I'm trying to do. He's good too. I don't know why you want to get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. um, so, yes, I'm just one of those absolutely politically correct headmistresses and it's just not working for me. But the funny thing is, I mean, this is the second time that we've acted together. Both times he's played a slob <laughs> <laughs> and both times I've been very disapproving of him um, and but we always have a hell of a lot of fun. We have a lot of laughs yeah. together when yeah, we act. Yeah, we do. Mm. Yeah, well, actually, a lot of the fun. roles that you have played have been like that for my act to point that out. So who, else, so who else have we got in this play? It's not just you two, is it? Um, no, no, no. No, we've got Alex Walker, who was in the very first play that I was in for Tadpole, The Lion in Winter. And we've got a beautiful Māori, young Māori actress, um, Valeria Davis, who is pretty fresh out of uh, Toifakari. Um, and she, yeah, they're both gorgeous kids. I mean, you know, I say kids. Um, extremely talented and enthusiastic and lovely. It's a lovely, balanced cast. <sighs> Sounds, yeah, sounds awesome. Great sounds awesome. Them. Hey, well, thank you both for yeah. stopping by. Um, thank you for it having sounds us. sounds hilarious. Thanks for having us. Kings of the Gym performs at Auckland's Pump House Centre in Takapuna from next Thursday, 8th of November. You can check out the Pump House website for ticket details. Yes, the best of the best in one place. Go and see them.